Hong Kong Police Raid Office of Pro-Democracy Camp Primary Election Co-Organizers and Seize PCs at Night Before Election the government claimed a primary election of the Territories Legislation Council, I. E. Parliament, constitute a violation of national security and may lead to life imprisonment. Pori, formerly known as HIPOP, is a public opinion research center led by Robert Chung. It is one of the largest and most long-lasting polling organization in Hong Kong. Rating its office is a watershed in Hong Kong's deterioration. Even though they passed the national security law, they are still so scared of any possible chance of signs of public dissatisfaction, in the form of pre-election voting cues this time. Hitler would be proud. LOL they ban all the ways for expressing public opinions, meaning they are losing. If they need to show they are on winning side, they can simply let the pre-election go on and seeing how few people voting in the pre-election. Expecting for something even worse tomorrow might have the popo seizing the laptops at the polling stations, not only the Hong Kong Public Opinion Research Institute, PORI, or even mimicking 721 somewhere in Hong Kong, just to disrupt the primaries. Regardless, we must persevere. Anything to suppress us. No shame, they don't even care anymore. Hong Kong is ruled by totalitarianism, no freedom of speech, assembly even singing. Now, the freedom to vote is gone hope the sanctions of various countries come quickly, China, fucked up as always. Tibet all over again. Crazy. HK government really afraid the pre-election. Get out while you can. The international community should boycott Chinese companies and those international companies that continue to cooperate with the CCP. How ridiculous is that? That's not enforcing the law that's based on political consideration. It's suppressing people's rights and freedom. Damn, this has some serious Night of the Long Knives vibes going on. Daily reminder, fuck the CCP. He said some PCs at the research center were hacked recently, though he was unsure who accessed the devices. Hacked by apt one to plant evidence of sedition. I'm so devastated for Hong Kong right now. Fuck the Chinese government. Seize the means of elections. Slash r slash fuck the. There is no stopping this. The power differential is too great. People have performed worse atrocities and got away with it all. All the HK foreign student friends I've made have either moved out or are making plans. Some of them have parents who had exit plans since before 1997. Singapore, Australia, Canada, UK, anywhere but HK. I feel bad for the ones who simply don't have the resources to abandon ship. Again lower income brackets get screwed. I don't like the current world. How many steady years do we have left, that people would still have the luxury to run for stable ground. This is the epitome of China. Forever. I don't want any more of my tax dollars going to this country, but I will happily donate sprouts and water when they run out of M. Fuck China. Raiding and looting a poll research center, unbelievable. The officers said they had a warrant, accusing the organization of dishonest use of a computer. Could just be bad English but lol. Encryption, 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 encryption. I can't imagine how dangerous the information on that PC could be in the hands of CCP authoritarians. China flexing muscle and the rest of the world won't even bat an eye. HK is doomed. It'll become just another Tibet or Xinjiang. Is Hong Kong lost? I mean, how can we stop that? Hashtag fuck China hashtag fuck 11. Fuel you the CCP. For the same reason a dog licks its balls, because it can, and no one can stop it. Musical note CCP and Winnie the Pooh gonna chop em up like the Saudis do musical notes. Honestly fuck China at this point. Ethiopia and Ghana are a window into the future for the resource management problems the rest of the world will face. HK, Ungur, and Tibet are windows into the future for the political and civil problems we will all face if fascism is allowed to thrive in this world. No matter what the Chinese gov says the new security law was created for one purpose and one purpose only, 
to crush and eliminate anything that even remotely resembles a threat, Hong Kong is in serious trouble, fuck China and their Winnie the Pooh looking leader. CCP is enemy of the people, all of them, including you, and me. They needed to set up a fake office. Make it look fully legit with people working inside every day. They can be legit but working via remote desktops. When the police raid, they steal the computers, turn them on and, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Just Rick Astley YouTube video link for any and all files in the computer. Click anything and it's actually a link to the video. Subtle. And it begins. If I lived in HK I would either, sadly, seek asylum in another country or fight back against the corrupt police with deadly force. Which is what every single one of them deserve Imo. It's so over in HK. Hope some can make it out to the UK. Looks like there are about to be some mass disappearances in Hong Kong. I really hope folks who don't want to live under the CCP are able to get out. We really need to arm the people of Hong Kong with nuclear weapons so China has to back the fuck off. China has become the next Soviet Union and the West don't care. China should stop being a totalitarian police state. Time to leave Hong Kong while you still can. It's over at this point. All the citizens can do is flee to any country that will take them. I feel so bad for these people. Why does China still bother having elections? Boycott China to get them to stop this shit. Yeah, the citizens of HK are kinda screwed now. This reminds me of Law 53 of 1948, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash gag underscore law underscore, Porto underscore Rico, in Puerto Rico, same thing different year. How does it feel Hong Kong to be another colonial property only this time of the CCP? Don't you mean CCP police? I feel like I'm reading an historic account of 1930s German elections when the Nazis started gaining power. Then again, China is the most totalitarian and nationalistic communist country I have ever heard of. Fuck China. The world champ of committing atrocities in the open with no repercussions from the world. Following the pattern of the Chinese Communist Party projects World War III, but this time we are less likely to win. They are putting their own people in camps now, but we will be next. Hong Kong gets more attention than the rest of Asia because they still remember the taste of freedom. Did China just forget they signed an agreement in 1997 during the handover of Hong Kong, that HK sovereignty and style of living wouldn't be interfered with for 50 years? So until 2047. We're 23 years in and China has completely trampled over that document. If anything the UK and other countries should be furious, and crippling sanctions should be on their way. Or does Chairman Xi and China not care anymore? Their reputation is in the toilet, the world hates them, why not subjugate Hong Kong, threaten Taiwan, shoot Indian soldiers and just become the new global bad guy? Anyone who thought that China wouldn't have abused the old extradition shit when this all started, here it is, this is what they wanted. But ma tick tock. Fuck China. Those who make peaceful protest impossible, make revolution inevitable. You mean Chinese police. That was a textbook definition of coup d'etat via election derailment. The only good CCP is a dead CCP. They need to go ahead and kick it into a full-blown revolution and take their country back. Not my original post. Saw this earlier and wanted to repost. We need to organize the free world to stand up. Time to start rounding up the Western Ally Bloc and and other friends and begin a coordinated response. Any Canucks, Brit, Aussie, Kiwi folks who want to see closer relations between us and our allies join our slash Kanzuk it's a movement pushing for deeper ties, a united response and freedom of movement between all four countries. Including the standing up to countries like China attempting to bully our four nations. Seize all assets owned by state-owned Chinese companies in the West. Send home all CCP members slash spies who are affiliated slash working for the Chinese government and are in part responsible for war crimes slash crimes against humanity. Work with our allies to lock China out of the Western economy. 
coordinate a global economic embargo until China reforms its government and economic system. Fuck the CCP sub. R slash fuck the slash. Subreddit for boycotting CCP China. R slash boycott China slash R slash avoid Chinese products. Asterisk organize and create lists of companies to email and write. Post links to websites with alternatives to China products. No racist shit. Keep on topic. Asterisk stop buying things made in China. Do your part. Asterisk would you buy stuff from Nazi Germany made by slaves? Asterisk do not take your anger out on Western Asians or any Asians. This is ideological. Western Asian people slash Asians in general equals citizens, allies, friends, family. Asterisk stop buying Reddit gold you are giving money to China. Asterisk if you upvote then write a letter slash email to your MP slash representative demanding action. List of CCP China crimes and crimes against humanity. Feel free to add more if I have forgotten any. Asterisk concentration camps with forced labor building goods sold to the West. Asterisk kidnapping and torturing two Canadian citizens and a British diplomat. Asterisk organ harvesting. Asterisk violating international agreements with Britain and denying the democratic rights promised to the people of Hong Kong. Asterisk threatening our allies. Asterisk threatening to invade Taiwan. A free democratic country. Asterisk using its economic power to threaten our livelihood and that of our allies. Asterisk using state-controlled companies and assets to buy up Western companies slash assets and those of our allied nations. Asterisk not abiding by the trade deal slash opening of China in the 1970s that required a liberalization of their economy. Not having massive state-controlled companies and allowing fair access to their markets. Asterisk unlawful control of the South China Sea and building of fake islands violating international agreements to claim territory. Asterisk suppression and systematic destruction of the Tibetan, Mongolian and Uyghurs people who live in China and other minorities. Asterisk destruction of thousands of cultural sites in China, a practice that continues until today in order to suppress non-Han culture. Fuck CCP China and welcome Hong Kong refugees. See state-owned assets and economic embargo. Note, I am advocating for kicking out all CCP members, Chinese communist members regardless of race or origin. Not suggesting discrimination or bigotry of any sort. Seize all their assets and send them home for being enemy agents in our country. Do not lock them up, do not arrest them. Give them 30 days notice to pack a bag and get out. Welcome all Hong Kongers who have British overseas passports. I am not advocating racism against Koreans, Japanese or regular Chinese people. Hell I suggest we strengthen our ties with Southeast Asia slash Asia and lock China out of the global economy until they reform. Give Hong Kongers when they come to the West money from sole Chinese state-owned company assets to support them and for their losses leaving home.